In the spirit of Halloween, we are going to talk about organ eating. And I know that sounds gross. It sounds like walking dead stuff. But the reason why we're going to talk about organ eating is because we actually did something very similar to this up north recently. Mm-hmm. But with that, when you kill a deer, let's say you're, right, imagine you're in the mountains in the 1800s. You're all alone, wearing a banana costume. Wearing the banana, wearing costume. The banana costume. Always. And a lot of people would try and survive... A lot of people would try and survive on just eating red meat. So they would eat red meat, and eventually they'd start to see sores in their mouth that would be extremely painful because the only source of food that they were getting was uh, wild, lean meat. They were getting scurvy, as it turns out. And eventually they die from it because you will die if you're only eating red meat or only eating white meat. They actually, some people call it, it rabbit starvation where people get in a, a, a desert island or not a desert, deserted island or whatever, but they get in a situation where the rabbits are easily attainable and that's like their only food source, but mm-hmm. they end up dying because they're only eating lean meat and the body can't survive off that alone. So the locals would actually teach them that, hey, if you eat the organs as well, you can survive and actually be healthy because you're not getting the vitamins and minerals that you need right now. So they would eat the bile. They would would eat the the tongue, the heart, the liver, especially the liver. And uh, they would do that strictly for the purpose of survival that they realized if they ate those things, they'd be a lot better off. And like, um, remember like the the thing that we always talk about, the caribou. Apparently if you eat the fat behind the eye of the caribou. Yeah, it tastes like um, pizza dough. I cannot wait to try wow. that. I, I'm excited to try that. That's weird. Like it's, raw pizza dough? Yeah, like raw yeah, like pizza the, dough. You know how, like, before you cook it up, it's just that pile. You just cut it out behind their eye. Who just who just eats raw pizza dough? Uh, any, I like any, that. Anybody, that, anybody that's ever bought a Little Let's Caesars it, pizza kit yeah, ever. Yeah, you, exactly. You're the freak in the Genius. room. Okay, and now we have the stupid comment of the week. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life is short. Eat, eat better pizza. <laughs> Pizza kits are gold, though. They didn't sponsor us, so we won't talk about them. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but they would actually eat the fat out of the back of a caribou eye because it would taste good. But they would eat the bile. They'd eat the heart, the liver, all those things. And once they found, once they did that, they'd realize that they were their bodies were doing well again and they were getting the vitamins and minerals they needed. So we're going to actually talk about the health benefits of the different organs that you can eat out of a deer. And Jeff, considering you actually have a degree in dietetics, is that the way? It dietetics. Somehow. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. Figured it out somehow. I haven't used it since, so. Uh, <laughs> this kind of. This, this was the one opportunity it. to use that $100,000 degree, so here we are. It wasn't that much. 80? <laughs> yeah. 80, 85. That's a, that's your going rate. That makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it better. Jeff, talk about um, the, the health benefits of eating organ meat from a deer. I, I really love like the idea like we've talked about about going out and hunting your own animal bringing in your own meat um but there's something even even better about then taking it and cleaning it yourself Mm -hmm. i really like butchering my own animal and uh and uh, one of the things that i think is very interesting is taking it cutting out the meat and then a lot of people just take the guts and then just toss it yeah usually good normal practice yeah so so one of the things that i (laughs) One of the things that I like to do is to take, we take the heart, we've taken a couple other things and tried it, and I don't know that, that all of them always work out, but um, uh, we tried heart, we got to eat heart. Yeah. You want to talk about eating the heart, Kyle? I enjoyed eating the heart. Why don't you talk about the health benefits of those? Like, specifically, what are the health benefits? If someone eats heart, what's the health benefits? Okay. Uh, well, the, the heart is, uh, is definitely high in ubiquinone which is involved in energy production. Obviously, the heart's always pumping, so it uh, needs a lot of energy, so that's something that's good for uh, to eat that you wouldn't get from normal meat alone. Okay. Um, you can eat the tongue. The tongue is a muscle, so you're going to get protein, B vitamins, that kind of thing. Is there anything more than you would get from meat from the tongue or no? Uh, not really. It's got some uh, higher in fatty acids, but nothing, nothing crazy. At least thing. at that point, it tastes like wild turkey, though. I That's a stretch. Entirely. I think so. AJ didn't like it. Did you like that, the tongue, uh, AJ? If you're going to compare it to wild turkey, I can't. I can't. No, I can't no it was, it was that. gristle from a steak is what it tasted you're like. Your gristle from a the steak. T- like a good steak. Not not. not I didn't that. mind the tongue. Actually, I didn't mind was, any of it. Yeah. The heart was good, too. Yeah. Well, anyways. <laughs> so you're not going to get a ton of health benefits from no, the tongue? No, not, not nothing crazy. Um, and then as far as actual health benefits that you would get from organs, you're talking liver, kidneys, uh, that's where you are 
Um, I don't think I want to eat a kidney. No. You're, you're filtering out. You definitely want to, like, pre-treat them with something, <laughs> like uh, lemon water, vinegar, or something to help get the blood out of it. Uh, milk. We know milk yeah. does wonders for everything. Tip it of the week. Makes diver duck taste good. So, um, But uh, liver and kidneys are involved in filtration. So when you think of what you're putting in your body, if you're going to filter through it, then you're going to pull out all the vitamins and all that kind of stuff. So those are, uh, they're called nature's multivitamin. So you want to eat the, the kidneys liver, are. the kidneys. Uh, you do want to clean them pretty good because the kidneys uh, do deal with urine. So it can get well, filtration. So clean them nice you can get some some gross in there nice but, uh, but those are good um I don't, I don't mind the flavor of liver because i like timber doodle and stuff like that yeah. it has livery taste but like the thought of eating a filter gets in my mind Natural like i filter. know what it does i think i would eat it from a young deer but i wouldn't want to eat it from like a three and a half year old buck that's probably that's probably good you wouldn't want to eat it from an older animal because all of the different things that they've eaten they've come across more fields that have nature's garbage disposal yep. kind of things yeah yeah um and then the other cool things are uh, bone marrow that's really good obviously that's what is making your blood making your red blood cells so um, that's got a lot of building blocks in there that are important that you can eat. A lot of people take that and they'll cut bones into discs, cook them, and then scoop the marrow out and put it on like crackers or. Toast I actually had. Or uh, um, like we were at the Brown Derby. It's inside Disney World, and I went there for um, a birthday mm-hmm. for Aunt Nisi. It was Aunt Nisi's 50th birthday. We went there, and I surprised her. That's when I went down to Florida, mm-hmm. and they had a steak there. They called it the um, marrow butter steak, mm-hmm. and they mixed bone marrow and butter and then put that on a filet i i don't know how to (laughs) get across how tasty bone marrow is Mm. i i don't i didn't it sounds disgusting i never had it it is it's basically nature's butter Mm -hmm. i mean it tastes like butter but better like was it in the butter form it was like what you would, was it melted down? What you would talk about with like a zip sauce? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice! So it was like that was the replacement to zip sauce in like a really fine restaurant. Interesting. With steak. Okay. So if you ever go to the Brown Derby in Florida, <laughs> get the marrow get butter steak. Marrow sauce. Yeah. I, I had one where they took a, an entire bone, cut it lengthwise, and then just gave it to you. Oh, and nice. you scooped it out and put it. What on, did it? Uh, what did that taste put like? Put it on baguette. Because mine was like kind of processed in the sense that it was on a steak it was like a meaty very fatty like a meat fat spread what was what was the flavor (laughs) not very descriptive Um, mince meat i don't know that i would be able to it was good it wasn't bad by any means i had it at a nice restaurant so it was it was good but it had a lot of like spice and seasoning and stuff okay so i don't really know what i could compare it to that it would yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it tastes like. Yeah. It was really good. I, I liked it. Mine tastes sure like butter, it but it was mixed with butter. What was so, the bone yeah. from? Just a cow? I think so. They just said marrow. Don't they whatever. use the femur? They don't, yeah. don't they often yeah. use the femur? We should mm-hmm. try that. 